Hey guys, my name is Melissa. This is my first YouTube video. I've never done anything like this before, so I'm pretty fucking nervous to say the least. What I'm doing in regards to editing and lighting and trying to figure out how to get my fat face and frame for everything, so I'm learning. Someone asked me to do a holiday look for my first YouTube video, so voila, here I am, a couple weeks before Christmas. Uh, it's a really easy look. Hopefully you guys enjoy it, and if it's something that you guys feel like you wanna learn, then please keep watching. Don't forget to give my video a thumbs up and subscribe below. All right guys, happy holidays. See you guys in the next video. Bye. Okay guys, let's get started. I'm starting off with MAC Cosmetics Pearl Longwear Concealer in NW20. I'm using this as an eyeshadow base. You can use whatever you'd like, just as long as you prime. Next, I'm going in with some scotch tape. This is just to give a wing liner effect and help me with the smokiness without all the mess. Be sure to apply it to the back of your hand before applying it to the skin around the eyes. You don't want any wrinkles. I'm gonna go in with Brulee by MAC and I'm gonna apply this all underneath the brow bone with a Morphe brush. Now I'm gonna use Makeup Geek TV and Creme Brulee also with a Morphe brush. I'm gonna apply this all into the crease in a windshield wiper motion. Don't forget to start on the outside and work your way in as that's where you want most of your product to be placed. And don't forget to blend. Now I'm going in with Swiss Chocolate by MAC. I'm using a 217 brush to apply this to the outer corner of my eyes and be sure to really blend inward. This is Corrupt by Makeup Geek TV and I'm using a Morphe pencil brush to apply it. I really wanted to give this look a smoky winged look so I'm using a back and forth motion to apply that dark color. I'm now using Honey Pot in the Naturalized Palettes by Too Faced with the MAC 239 brush. I'm applying this color all over the lid and really packing it in. I'm not using a back and forth motion. No holiday look is complete without some sort of glitter, so I'm using Too Faced glitter glue all over the lid and a MAC 239 brush to apply the Stila Cosmetic Foil Finish Shadow in Pixie Dust. Now I'm going in with this eyeliner, Deep Burgundy by Stila. I love this eyeliner. I'm not really big on black eyeliner anymore, so I've been using this lately and it's just the most perfect warm brown. It still gives me a smoky effect without giving my eye a really small appearance like the black liners do. I'm going in with a MAC 214 brush to really smudge this liner and pull it out. I don't want such a harsh line, so I'm using a back and forth motion and pressing it into the lash line. Now that I feel I'm happy with the look, I'm gonna remove the tape on both sides gently. Now I'm just gonna use a wipe to clean up underneath. I'm now going in with another Stila product. This is their color correcting primer. I love this stuff. It doesn't leave a greasy filling and more importantly, it really helps even out my skin tone with all the redness that I have. I'm now using Kat Von D's Lock It Tattoo Foundation and NARS Sheer Glow Foundation mixed together. I really love the coverage of the Kat Von D foundation, but I don't necessarily love the dryness. So I'm using the NARS to kind of even that out and give my skin a more healthy glow, but still with plenty of coverage. I used Fix Plus Spray by MAC to moisten my beauty blender and stipple it and press that product all over the skin. I'm trying to avoid the under eye area just because I'll be going in next with my concealer. Hey guys, this is my go-to highlight. I use MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW20 mixed with MAC Prep and Pine Pen in Radiant Rose. I mix the two together because I get the coverage from the concealer and the highlight from the pen. I've put the product in between my brows, on the bridge of my nose, and underneath of my eyes, as well as Cupid's bow. So again, I'm going to go in with a wet beauty blender and just press this product into the skin. If you guys don't have a beauty blender, you need to get one. These things are amazing and really give you that airbrush finish. This is Ben Nye Neutral Set Powder. You can use any colorless powder. I know MAC makes a really great one too, but I'm just setting the under eye concealer area with this because it's not as heavy as a normal face powder. This is also not gonna take away from the lightness of my concealer so that I still get the highlight effect. And in case you guys are wondering, this is a MAC 159 brush. This is a Ben Nye Cream Contour, and I'm sorry I don't have the name, but I'm applying it down the sides of my nose with a MAC 210 brush. In regards to creams versus powders, I really prefer cream um, for the nose and underneath my lips, and for the rest of the face, I'll use a powder as you'll see in a bit. 
Once again, I'm going in with a wet beauty blender to press this product into the skin. Because it's a cream, you'll notice that it really blends smoothly. With the 138 brush by MAC, I'm going to apply this Studio Care Blend Press Powder in Medium Plus to the rest of my face. Now I'm going to use my Anastasia Contour Kit, which I love. I'm mixing the colors Java and Fawn together to create my contour. This is a MAC 109 brush, I believe, of the numbers I've ripped off, so I'll be sure to link it below. This is totally personal preference, guys, but I really like to take the rest of my contour up into the hairline and underneath my chin. This is NARS Bronzer in Laguna, my absolute favorite. Going back in with that same MAC 109 brush and getting any of the extra product off of it and putting that just above the contour line. Again, I'm gonna take that around the face and underneath my chin just so that it blends seamlessly. Next, I'm gonna apply this beautiful, gorgeous cosmetics blush in the color Coral just to the balls of my cheeks. I really like an angled brush to do this and it's a Morphe brush, so I'll be sure to link it below, but I really like to just use the balls of my cheeks and the point of that brush to apply it. It's brow time. So I'm just gonna go into my brows and with a little spoolie brush, I'm gonna brush all the hairs up and over to the side. Next, I'm gonna use the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Blonde. And I'm gonna start in the middle of my brow and start to create the shape of it. I'm not gonna start at the very beginning because that'll give it too much of a boxy look. So I'm just gonna meet the color at the top and meet it from the tail. I really love this pomade just because it's not such a harsh look. I can go back in with a spoolie later, which you'll see, to kind of blend it out to give it a softer look. But I like to create the brow first, give it some dimension, and then figure out if my shape is exactly what I need it to be. I'm going to take Embark and Swiss Chocolate both by MAC and put that just underneath the lash line. I'm going to apply that with a pencil brush, and I'm also going to go back in with that Stila eyeliner and put that in the waterline. This is my absolute favorite mascara, you guys. It's cheap, it's amazing, I love it. Go get it, buy it, you're welcome. It's awesome. I like to apply it in a zigzag motion just to be sure that I get every single little lash. Um, I have really long lashes naturally, so it's kind of hard for me to apply mascara without it getting everywhere, and the zigzag motion and pulling it up and out really helps. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you know that I'm an obsessor over Velour Lashes, and these are their lashes in winging. I'm using a, it used to be known as LUS glue, which I love by the way because it's a black glue, and it's really strong, so I don't ever really have to worry about my lashes lifting by the end of the night. I'm just gonna place them over the lash line, not pressing anything in yet, but I'm gonna start with the outer corner first, making sure that I have them nice and even, and then along the way, pressing the rest of the lash onto the lash line. And I'm really sorry you guys, I know I really didn't go too much into detail about how to apply false lashes, so I will be sure in the near future to do a whole tutorial on just that. I mentioned before I have naturally really long lashes so in regards to my bottom lashes I have to put mascara otherwise it looks funny if I don't have any on and I like to just use my fingertips to kind of brush them so that I get any of the excess mascara off. Now I'm gonna wipe clean my mouth so that I don't have any extra skin and I'm gonna go in with MAC Night Moth liner and just line those tiny itty bitty non-existent lips of mine. I'm gonna kind of fill in the lips a little bit too with this Night Moth liner just to give it a more deeper effect. And that's only because I know that I'm gonna go over it with a really bright red. Mm -hmm. 
How cute is this itty bitty red lipstick? All I know is that it's called Bite. It was with a free gift with my Sephora VIP Rouge, so I'm sorry if I don't have the correct name on there. Um, but I do love it. It's a really great creamy consistency and it goes really well over that Night Moth liner. I'm just gonna go around the lips with a brush just to make sure that I have nice clean lines. Time to finish off this holiday look with some bitchin' highlight. This is MAC Cosmetics in Whisper of Guilt. I'm applying it with a fan brush. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Don't forget to subscribe and give me a big thumbs up and comment below if there's anything you want to see. Thanks for watching. I don't have lipstick on my teeth. Saving things to me. Actually, it's getting easier as I move out and I feel like I'm just talking into, I don't know, talking to someone on phone. So, I'm gonna adjust this shit. Should I leave the bang? Maybe don't hate me and I literally had to put my hair up because it was looking like poo and I can't figure out how all you beauty gurus have perfect hair in every shot so mad props. Alright, let's get this shit going. Yo, what is up? Good hair. Hey, my battery is gonna die so let's hope this run goes good.